I am a, uh, maybe from the future, I am a non-coder that has managed to do something cool, I hope, which is to inject audio into the GIF format. So um, this is proof. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't code. Uh, the GIF is an animation format that is easy to use and really hard to pronounce. Uh, a lot of people really hate the format because it sucks attention. Uh, it's old tech, it stinks, it's out of control, but it's anti-fragile. It's three times older than Bitcoin. It's uncensorable. It's easy to copy, easy to paste, whack-a-mole. And it's fair use, which means if you can legally use it permissionlessly, uh, if you critique, transform, or comment on media. So this supports free speech. GIF has a lot of users, uh, 5 billion browsers. Hazard to guess how many browsers support GIF. A billion GIFs, GIFs alone serve every day. 4 billion new users are coming online in the next five years. Uh, and there's a surprise in GIF. GIF is programmable. It has uh, blocks in the file format itself for comment, for application, and for data. So you can add capabilities. Uh, the classic example is Mark Anderson's um, 1989 animation. And so that really made the uh, format strong. And, uh, and so we added audio to it. So now, um, and, and also added a way to synchronize syllables of audio with text, plain text. Um, even an a, uh, a game of GIF, and this can provide an AI feedback loop to correct uh, ASR errors. Uh, we also can sort the order of image context with a GIF. So that's just like a linked list that we can put in the data. Um, and uh, this is all remixable. Um, so you can switch the image for any audio, etc. cetera. Uh, it's verifiable because we can write it in DAT, IPFS, Git, etc. cetera. Uh, we're uh, about to make, we are making it actionable so that you can, you can, I saw smiles. So you can make a choice happen, you choose. And a, a nice thing about GIF compared to like video is you can get it in Photoshop, like he goes down on this. He says, you know, but I said, forget that. It's better ambiguous. And even I as not a talented person could control that media without a lot of hassle. So, with actionable GIFs, we can make them programmable shit one minute. Uh, so you can choose whether how you want to save them, how you want to verify them. Importantly, and this is for Protocol Labs, um, we can also include the choice of what network layer we use. Everybody in the decentralization world is centralized on the internet protocol. Everyone, 99%, there's an incredible option called Named Data Networking by Van Jacobson, $24 million of NSF funding. We should be backing this. It works fine with IP. It's a more general model. It's actually got a whole, every single packet, I got 58 seconds, every packet in this format is signed. It enhances your capability to untrust. It knocks civil attacks out. It knocks sender attacks out. It respects human attention, which is the only scarce resource there is. We should stop messing around with limiting and excluding ourselves to internet protocol when we have asymptotic better choices that offer us much more security. I'm done. Thank you. Oh, shit. You need, hold on. Wait, I'm not. Look, this is important. Uh, memory, SD, oh shit, 13 seconds. Look up SD Express. It handles 128 terabytes in an SD card. Why are we planning for networks when we have 26 years of memory, of YouTube memory and local memory? What the hell? So this is for players to program memory in GIF. Thank you.